What up, digital artists, illustrators, animators, graphic artists, and motion designers? Miguel here of Yigatech, and in this video, we are checking out the Artist Pro 16 Generation 2 from the folks over at XP Pen. If you don't know XP Pen, they are a notable brand within the graphics tablet industry. XP Pen specializes in manufacturing drawing tablets, pen displays, and other digital drawing tools for artists, designers, and other creative professionals. So if you've ever been on the lookout for pen displays or drawing tablets, you've probably heard of these guys, as well as Wacom and Huion. If you've ever gone on this rabbit hole of what drawing tablet to get yourself because you love to draw, you may have considered just getting an iPad Pro. But hey, this is why I love my job. Every now and then, I get to try things I've thought of purchasing myself just to justify why I should or shouldn't spend my own money on it. Anyways, enough monologue. Let's dive in. The XP Pen Artist Pro 16 Gen 2 is, as the name suggests, the second iteration of XP Pen's Artist Pro 16. It's a 16-inch drawing tablet that features a 2.5K laminated X Nature display at a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Laminated displays mean that there isn't any space between the screen and the panel below, which can cut down on parallaxing, which is that offset between the glass and the display, like from tablets of decades ago, like how maybe if you look at the edge of the panel and the bezel, maybe there's like that offset. That's what parallaxing is. At 16 inches, a 2.5K resolution is definitely better than full HD. Everything looks sharper with good detail and we also get really nice viewing angles here at 160 degrees. It's also fairly portable at less than seven pounds for its weight and with dimensions measuring at 405.11, by 291.37 by 2023 millimeters but i personally wouldn't bring this around everywhere with me unless of course it was my life although if i wanted to i could because with my current rig all i need is this nifty usb c to c cable that came in the box to power this display if ever your laptop or home rig does not feature a type c port that can power the display the Artist Pro 16 Gen 2 also gets an AC adapter in the box, coupled with a USB Type-A to C cable and a USB-A extension cable to give you more options for cable management. And yes, it comes with all the adapter prongs you need wherever you are in the world. What it doesn't come with is the 3-in-1 cable that you can use to plug into an HDMI and USB-A port to power the tablet. 3-in-1 cable sold separately. Apart from those, we also get a microfiber cleaning cloth, a drawing glove, and oh my god, look at this pen case. Its shell is made out of aluminum, and it looks just as good as it feels. Listen to this. This case houses all your plastic and felt nibs, as well as the X3 Pro Smart Chip stylus. To get in, we push the bottom of the case like a fancy car drawer, and... Voila! This X3 Pro Smart Chip stylus feels just as nice as the case. Not because of any metals in its construction, but because of this silicone rubber grip. It's matte, it's soft to the touch, and I feel like a professional cartoonist or animator already. The macro buttons on the side are very ergonomically placed as they comfortably rest right below my thumb. This stylus is where we get that 16,000 levels of pressure sensitivity, and at the other end is a pressure sensitive eraser. But hey, I see why you may not need that eraser when you're so used to pressing your map undo button as well but i've also heard that a lot of people like this thing and it feels really good on the tablet too it's overall well weighted for prolonged drawing sessions and to give you folks at home a better idea 
it's lighter than a new AA battery. Switch over to one of these felt nibs and dang, I don't even remember why I was scared of tackling digital illustrations in the first place. But before we get into that, the last thing that comes in the box is this wireless remote that features your mappable wheel and shortcut buttons. Because if you haven't noticed from the B-roll, there aren't any buttons on the tablet itself. I don't really have a preference for these things just yet, but I think it's neat. Just make sure you don't lose it, cause that would totally suck. This remote charges via USB Type-C and it comes with a wireless USB dongle to plug into your laptop so that, well, it can receive information and input and output wirelessly. It's also nice because if you're a left-handed user or a right-handed user, you could just kind of use it with any hand, thus making all these mappable shortcut buttons ambidextrous. Anyways, to finish off the X-Nature display specs, we get 99% of sRGB coverage and 159% of the sRGB ratio, which to skip the boring details means that this tablet can output very accurate colors. This panel can even switch between sRGB, Adobe RGB, and DCI-P3 color gamuts for the most accurate results. Going back to the stylus, Another cool thing about the rubber material is that it doesn't collect lint as much as older styluses or other or older rubber materials from styluses, which keeps it from becoming all grimy, which I love. Overall, that 16,000 levels of pressure, which does feel kinda overkill, just like mouse DPI technology after every year, is awesome. My reference is from the pressure sensitivity of styluses from smart tablets like an iPad Pro, and honestly, with something like the XP Pen Artist Pro 16 Gen 2, I feel I have a lot more control over my lines, more like on real paper, but this time, I don't need to worry about bleed outs. Apparently, we also get a higher activation rate at 3 grams, which I don't particularly notice because the product itself works so damn well already, but yeah, I thought that was worth mentioning. Overall, the Artist Pro 16 Gen 2 from XP Pen feels pretty solid in build and performance. It gets an official price tag of 29,999 pesos from the official XP Pen Philippines website, but is currently on sale at the time of this recording for 24,999 pesos. There are other similarly priced drawing tablets out there, and they're just as good. Uh, relatively. So consider the XP Pen Artist Pro 16 Gen 2 for this nice stylus case and these cool flip out. Oh no, feet. Now, if I wasn't buying this thing because I'm nothing more than a drawing hobbyist, I definitely want to see maybe a higher refresh rate and maybe OLED in a future drawing tablet till like I muster up the courage to spend my actual money on one. Yeah, maybe OLED, higher refresh rate. Sounds like something awesome. Which you could argue is already available in smart tablets, but I don't know. I know it's not about the gear, but those things make me feel like I'm doodling. And this thing makes me feel like I'm a low income anime artist, but I love my job! And if you think about it, this is more affordable than an iPad Pro, although you could do more with a smart tablet, but then I'm not even in the Apple ecosystem, so... Either way, this was the very awesome Artist Pro 16 Gen 2 from XP Pen. What do you guys think of drawing tablets? Maybe an 11 or 13 inch one would be better for someone just trying to dip their feet into digital illustrations and animations. I mean, it would definitely be more cost efficient, but less space to work with. Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video or found it educational or informative, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit gigatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.